any woman who thinks that she is perfect is at best delusional and at worst she's a liar but either way she's dangerous like you listening to this right now you're not perfect you know none of us are i know i'm not you know i'm capable of courage i'm capable of compassion i'm capable of kindness but i'm also capable of you know hatred and jealousy and and just plain pettiness now it's definitely not a bad thing to always be striving to be a better person to have standards for yourself and always you know be on the path of self-improvement that's a good thing but to believe that you are a perfect person that you have no darkness that's actually dangerous it's why i give men the advice that they should never ever date a woman who believes that she is perfect all of us without exception have a dark side you know we're capable of amazing acts of incredible virtue but we're also capable of of evil you inside you you have the wiring psychologically for every single human emotion the entire spectrum of good and evil exists inside you it's not pleasant to think about but we all have the capacity for even conscious acts of cruelty right but now enter the woman who believes that she has no dark side she believes that she's perfect she says i don't feel anger ever you know i never get jealous i i don't even see evil i just see love and light everywhere i am perfect la 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 believe me when i tell you that a woman who believes that she is perfect is way more likely to commit acts of evil she is so much more likely to lie to cheat to abuse to manipulate than a woman who is aware of her own dark side here's what she doesn't understand is that by not admitting that she has a dark side she actually makes it way more likely that evil and terrible acts are going to manifest in her behavior the reason is is because she doesn't see it coming now contrast with the woman who is aware that she has a dark side right well she's going to be constantly vigilant and watching her own behavior because she's aware of her own capacity for evil you know that woman she is aware that she has weaknesses she's aware that she has limitations and she's going to be constantly worried that she's going to act upon them and so she's going to consciously restrict her own behavior that self-awareness that vigilance that she has that's a good thing but the woman who believes that she is perfect is not going to have any vigilance she's not going to be worried about restricting her own behavior she's not going to be cautious why would she be she's perfect she has nothing to worry about i mean it is such a disaster any woman who says i'm perfect any woman who believes that i mean yeah right denying reality doesn't magically change it just because you don't admit that you have a dark side doesn't change the facts of the situation now the fact of the matter is that any woman who believes that she is perfect is not really strong she's not confident she's incredibly fragile because she's dependent upon a self image of perfection in order for her to feel okay do you see how psychologically delicate that is it's like the slightest thing is going to tip her off balance you know she's thinking i'm only okay so long as i'm absolutely perfect and any suggestion that she's not like any evidence to the contrary is going to make her panic like oh shit i need to constantly reassure myself that i'm perfect i'm without flaws i have no dark side at all i mean it's tragic really because i mean she was probably raised in a household where she was criticized or punished any time that she fell short of her parents expectations and so she develops this kind of crazy obsession for perfectionism you know that that denial of her own dark side it starts out as a coping mechanism because the shame of falling short of expectations is just too painful for her to bear she can't deal with that level of fear but while it starts as a coping mechanism it very quickly becomes you know a cemented fixture of her personality and i mean it's just insufferable to be around i mean just think it through right like think through what's going to happen when she lashes out at you in anger or she criticizes or 
belittles you or she lies to you to avoid taking responsibility for her actions. You'll probably point out to her, hey, like that's not okay. You can't treat me that way. You need to fix this behavior. You know, I deserve better. I have standards for the kind of you know, behavior I expect from the woman I'm in a relationship with. You've got to improve this. This is not good enough. But the woman who thinks that she's perfect, you know, she's not going to admit what it is that she's done. She's not going to take responsibility for her actions. She won't even acknowledge that anything has actually occurred. And so she goes into a complete denial of reality. But that's incredibly dangerous because, I mean, do you see, to admit reality, to actually acknowledge how she's behaving and what she's doing, would be to admit that she has a dark side. It would be to admit that she's not perfect. And that's too scary, you know, she has too much shame. She can't possibly acknowledge that. Her self-image is just too delicate. She's too fragile. And so she goes into denial. You know, she's like, no, I wasn't angry. You know, I didn't yell at you. No, no, I didn't lie. Like, no, 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 no. That, that's not what happened. Or it's not my fault. No, no, you're to blame. Like, you're somehow responsible for, for my actions. Or how about this one? I bet a few of you have encountered this one. No, I wasn't criticizing and belittling you. No, no, I was just giving you constructive feedback. You know, you're meant to man up. You, you know, you're too sensitive as a man, you know, code for I should be able to abuse you as much as I like and then pretend like it's all constructive feedback. You see what's happening here? The hamster wheel of rationalization is just spinning, right? And she's just throwing out excuse after excuse, anything to avoid taking responsibility for her own behavior. She's comfortable in the realms of throwing out blame and excuses, anything to avoid the reality of her actual behavior. She is perfect and she will not tolerate any suggestion that she's less than that. I mean, in one sense, my sympathy to anybody whose sense of self is that delicate, obviously something has gone tragically wrong in their psychological development, you know, that somebody would actively choose to live in delusion and to ignore reality, you know, something's messed up with that person. And while I have compassion for her and you as a man, you know, with your masculine protective instincts for women, you probably have compassion for her, right? Like you can see how fragile she is and you want to help her, you want to protect her. Like I, I get it, but you know, in your dating choices and in your relationships, mate, you've got to be selfish, right? Because your compassion could very be very well be the thing that completely undoes you and causes you tremendous harm. When it comes to dating women, you have to be a bit selfish because I mean, if she's drowning, the danger is she's just going to take you down with her. And so it's just not worth it. You know, any woman who thinks that she's perfect is not going to take responsibility for her behavior and you're going to be the one that ends up suffering. So don't date women who believe that they're perfect. They're not. And their belief that they are is going to make you miserable.